Hi, Data Ben here. Today we're going to learn how to do animations in Excel. This is a, a little known thing about Excel that you can actually conduct animations on images. So let's take a look. So we've got this astronaut character here and we have some settings for the animation here. And now if we click the animate button, you can see that the astronaut spins away and also increases in size as we go along. And now if we change some of the settings, so we have a setting for how far from the left he spins, how far from the top of the window he spins, the percentage he increases in size as he animates, and uh, how much spin goes on on each frame, and then the total number of frames for the animation. So this animation now is 30 frames long. Let's change some of these settings. So if I change the left distance multiplier here, let's say to 15, he should gravitate more away from the left hand side. So he's going 15 pixels each time away from the left. And then if I increase the spin magnifier, this will make him spin much faster as we go. So you can play around with these settings, uh, including the size magnifier as well. So I've increased this by 1% you'll see he gets noticeably larger as we go. And then if I actually decrease by 1%, you'll see he spins away into the distance and is gone. So let's jump into the VBA and see how we've set up this animation. So I'm going to right click on the button and click on assign macro and then edit, which will open up the VBA window. So let's have a look through the code. First we declare some uh, parameters that we need to set up for this animation. So we've declared them at the top here and then we actually set these values from the worksheet itself. So first we have the repeat count as zero and then we set T to be a timer so we can actually get the total time of the animation as well. And then we start to feed in the values that we've got in the worksheet from column K. So you'll see in column K so K3 we have the value 15, K4 we have the value 5 and so on. Uh, so we actually get all of those values into the code. Let's run this line by line so we can see how this works. So you can press F8 or Command Shift I on Mac and then we've set up the parameters if we continue to press that until we get to the bottom of the parameters. And then when I'm going to click View, Locals window, and then we can see all of the parameters have successfully been copied into memory. Next, we're going to use a do loop to actually loop up and conduct the animation. So first of all, we have a do events and we have to use this sometimes just to force Excel to actually complete its actions. So this may be redrawing the image on the screen. If you don't use this, the image can sometimes stutter or not look like it's animating at all. So a do events is a command to VBA to say, please finish all of your calculations and redrawing and then continue after that code. So it's like giving VBA a, a bit of a breather. So we conduct that do events and then we increase the repeat count by one. And this is where we start to influence the animation. So we're saying with the shape astronaut, we, uh, the, we want the left parameter to be the repetition count, which is currently one, uh, times the left multiplier, which we just brought in as 15 from the original settings here, 15 pixels, and uh, then plus five to just give it a little bit of padding. So the animation doesn't start stuck to the top or the left of uh, the, uh, of the frame so we've got a little bit little bit of a border to begin with so it's just a little offset it's not really necessary but it makes the animation look a little bit less stuck so we that means that the first animation is going to be 16 pixels away from the left hand side and then the top multiplier we have is five um, so then this is going to be one times five plus five which is 10 pixels from the top so let's see that uh, continue. So sorry, the left is actually calculated as 20 as we've added the five on and the top is 10. So we've actually moved the animation from the top 10 pixels and by the left 20, but you'll see that it's not moved. 
then the rotation, we've uh, rotated uh, 40 pixels uh, as we've specified in the settings. So we've applied the spin magnifier. And then we're scaling the height of the image. So at the moment, so the default height as it begins with, as the height isn't actually this size by default, is 35%. So we're going to do 35%, 0 0.35, plus the repetition count times the height magnifier. So this case, it's going to add on a, uh, a 0 0.01. Uh, onto the uh, height magnifier here so and it will actually scale it now it looks as though not very much has moved here and we'll see why this is shortly so we've conducted the actions and then we're going to call this timeout function so if we move on to the timeout we've created this timeout uh, so this timeout subroutine below which simply animates uh, it conducts a do events and it, what it does is it takes the start time, applies the milliseconds that we passed through, in this case the lowest we could go, 0 0.001, and uh, then it does a do events until the time hits 0 0.001 milliseconds. So essentially it's instant, and uh, when we're running this at maximum speed, uh, this code uh, uh, doesn't do very much, but it's when we slow down the animation that this matters. So we have the active window small scroll down one and small scroll up one. And the reason we do this is because at least on Mac, the animations are bugged unless we add these two lines of code. So we've added those two lines of code and there you can see that the image has redrawn, has actually refreshed with the scale the movements and the spin and all those settings that we had previously. So this is a bug essentially in, in Excel, at least for Mac, in that we do need to have this as a workaround. And what it does is it forces the screen to refresh by scrolling down one and scrolling up one row. And uh, it just forces the refresh and it happens so quickly, you don't see it during the animation. So it's a, it's a bit of a bug fix. Uh, but just be aware that if you are running this code on Mac, like I'm doing, then you will have to do, do this. So now it's going to loop again. So we've done the first frame and then it's going to do a do events and then it's going to uh, continue up uh, with the next settings here. So it's going to rotate a little bit more. It's going to move to the left a little bit more and do this timeout uh, again. So we can see here that when we uh, animate that it's moved to the next frame. So we're on the second frame and we're going through this so slowly manually that it's very difficult to see the animation. So what we'll do now is we'll let this loop continue to the next line by highlighting a break point by clicking on the grey column here and uh, if you click you get a break point in red and then if you press the play or the continue button then the code will loop so the animation's actually just occurred off screen here. And now it's going to get the time that it took to actually run the code and imprint it here. Now the reason it says 389 seconds here is because that's how long I've been talking as we've been going through the code. And then it's going to reset as the last section of code. It's going to reset the astronaut to its original settings. But you'll see there until the active window small scroll happens, it doesn't visually update. So we've changed the settings on the astronaut back to the original settings, but nothing changes until we force the animation here. And there we force the animation and that's now gone back to the start. And then the subroutine ends. So that's the full VBA code for the animation. Uh, let's again see how that looks. So if we want to uh, increase how far down the astronaut goes. We want to maybe change the top distance a little bit, remove the left distance, and I'm expecting him to shoot downwards when I click animate, which he does. And maybe we want to extend the length of the animation, so we'll double the frames to 60 frames. We'll slow his spin down, maybe to a very slow spin, and uh, we'll also reduce the top distance multiplier as well so he stays on the screen and there you go you've got a very slow and longer animation going on there 
So you can adjust these settings and I'll make this workbook available. And once you adjust these settings, you'll uh, be able to play around with this and step through the code step by step yourself. Have you got any cool ideas of how you could use animations in Excel via VBA? Let's just do one final uh, animation to finish off here. Let's uh, ping the astronaut off into the distance and uh, make him reduce in size and then have him spin very fast, maybe for uh, 100 frames. Let's see how that goes. See you later, dude.